Now this model review is of a 172nd scale F4 Phantom. It's by Ravel. And uh, this is an older model kit. And it shows you the finished model here. And some more pictures here. 24 centimeters of size. And this one has already been started. Here are decals. These are actually very nicely printed, even though it's an older kit, they haven't yellowed. So it looks like we have uh, started the uh, landing gear being put on. But the surface detail is actually very nice. Unfortunately, it's all raised, but there's a lot of the surface detail. Flaps are down. Wings are put on here. Let's have a look. Here's the uh, left fuselage, some detail inside the cockpit. Our air intakes have already been uh, started. Let's have a look at the other side. Also, air intakes are already put in place. Looks like the hook, tail hook is molded on. Also, all raised surface detail. Have a look at these sprues. Most of the parts are off the sprue. A few remaining parts here. Here are the uh, weapon rails and the uh, wheel covers. Got some flashing there. Otherwise, a fair amount of surface detail. And uh, also, most of these parts have been taken off. Okay. And here are all the parts. So our cockpit's been started. There's actually a lot of detail on this cockpit, which is surprising. And look at those um, instrument panels. Also, a lot of surface detail. That's quite impressive for this size model and for Ravel. Here are our exhausts, which have some nice details down there at the bottom. And here's our pilot, a little bit of mold line there, and some of our fuel tanks, which unfortunately are going to have to be sanded down, doesn't look like those matched up very well. Tail wings. Uh, they do have that characteristic reverse curve for the Phantom. But fair amount of surface detail. Here's our instrument, sorry, our uh, canopy. You can either have it open or close. So it looks like we have some of the weapon rails here as well. Looks like we have another guy, the second pilot figure. This is probably the navigator or weapons specialist. We have the uh, air intake covers, which have nice details on the outside. And a whole bunch of weapons. Missiles, guided bombs, some more of the uh, wheel covers and we have the front wheels these are very small little wheels but it is 172nd scale some additional parts here's the uh, main landing gear wheels uh, with some detail on them it's a little bit crisp, crisper than I'd expect for a 172nd scale. So that's very nice. Let's have a look at the instructions. First of all, we have the list of colors needed. So put together the uh, cockpit, that's already been done. And 
and uh, that then goes inside the fuselage. Fuselage gets put together, wings get put together, that's what's already been done. Then we have the uh, fuselage going on the wings, tail wings going on, painted a different colour. Air intakes, that's already been put on, intake covers, and landing gear, wheel covers, main gear, then the uh, flaps, looks like those were made to go down, I suppose you could cut those and put them straight if you wanted, then your uh, exhaust nozzles, they're starting to put together your uh, weapon systems, the sparrow missiles, here's your fuel tanks, and some of the uh, sidewinders and your uh, bombs. That whole rack gets put together. And then the uh, outside fuel tanks and canopy, open or closed. Open looks really nice. You can see the details and your antenna. And here's the uh, painting and decal guide. That looks like a very detailed model.